The Stalker Beetle is a new flying character, controlled by a player in first-person view. It is spawned and activated as a consumable and adds reconnaissance capabilities to the arsenal, because you can even ping locations and enemy hunters while inside the Beetle. It is unlocked at Bloodrun rank 15, costs $45 and is a single-use item. But you can pick it up again after use or find new ones in several cocoons scattered around the map. To activate it, you just throw them anywhere like a dynamite stick or a decoy. Throwing a beetle starts a transition into its own view, and while the beetle is active, the controlling hunter cannot move or perform any actions, so better find some nice cover to hide behind. The beetle's view is permanently using dark side, but this has slightly increased view distance compared to the hunter's dark side. The beetle's dark side will not consume the dark side boost the hunter might have and does not highlight enemy hunters. Everything else is also pretty hard to see and you won't really hear anything from the beetle's perspective. Stalker beetles cannot land and stay airborne constantly. Even if you do not touch the controls, the beetle will hover by itself. They will also emit a loud buzzing sound that depends on how fast it is flying. If you go full speed, it's pretty loud. If you just hover, it's much quieter. The beetle can be deactivated to return to the ground or detonated to cause a small explosion. It will also deactivate if it's exposed to a choke cloud, touches water or if the controlling player receives damage or dies. When the beetle is deactivated, the player returns to their own perspective and any player can pick up the deactivated beetle from the ground. So you could potentially steal the enemy beetle by throwing a choke bomb at them. The explosion will cause 5 damage to hunters and applies poison and medium bleeding. It also destroys objects like lamps and glass pane windows, so you can burn dock cages or open up a window to better look inside a compound. Additionally, objects like traps, poison barrels and cranks will be triggered. Barricaded doors and window shutters will be opened if the explosion is on the correct side. Stalker beetles will also trigger all warning effects as a hunter would. This includes red clue warnings, boss whisper warnings, extraction warnings and blocking extraction progress. Additionally, enemy stalker beetles will show up as a small orange visual effect in boosted dark side. The beetle also interacts with the environment as if they were a hunter. They will startle close by monsters, make noise on hanging chains and any other prop they touch, startle crows and horses and trigger traps they touch, which also kills the beetle. The beetle has a range of 150 meters. When it exceeds this distance, an out of range warning will be displayed with a 10 second countdown. If it's still out of range after the 10 seconds expire, it will deactivate. They also have very low hit points and will die to a single bullet or melee attack. When killed, there is no explosion and it is no longer able to be picked up. Three traits have been updated at this time to include the Stalker Beetle. The effects of Blade Seer, Poison Sense and Vigilant will also apply in the Stalker Beetle's side. So, the main use of the Beetle is of course to scout ahead and spot enemies. But you can also use it to disarm traps and enable entrance for yourself or a teammate. Or just use it to bait monsters and cause a distraction at the other side of the compound. If you want to try it out, head over to the test server. For everyone else, the Beetle will be included in update 10, which will go live soon anyway. If you are new to Hunt, be sure to check out my beginner's guide and if you like the content, leave a like and subscribe.